Well, today is National Denim Day, a day that asks millions of people across the world to wear denim with a purpose. We are all wearing our denim here today. This day is to help support survivors of sexual assault and spread awareness. I'm joined by the Derby Festival Royal Court. They're raising awareness on this big issue. And Elizabeth Wessels Martin, the president and CEO of the Center for Women and Families. Ladies, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. You know, we, we've had Thank you all you on us. so much about, you know, all the light derby stuff, but I'm just, I'm happy that you're lending your voice to something mm -hmm. that's very important, affects so many young women. Um, and so let's just kind of dial through and talk about, like, first of all, people may wonder, what is Denim Day? So Denim Day is an annual event that is observed worldwide that encourages individuals to wear their denim to show their support for victims of sexual assault and sexual violence. So we're very happy to be here today and to speaking up, to speak up and uh, stand up for victims. And yes. Why is it important that you, you all wanted to be a part of this, to have the Derby Princesses right. collectively here? I mean, it's so important because sexual assault and sexual violence is happening in every single community. And we just wanted survivors to know that we support and we believe them. Absolutely. And the statistics? Yes. They're so alarming. They really yes. are. So unfortunately, more than half of people have a have had sexual assault under the age of 34. And even with us being college students, it unfortunately happens on our campus with 26% of it being with females and 8% being with males. And trans equality has also stated that more than 78% of victims that identify as transgender and non-binary are affected. And, and I think so often there's a lot of shame with things, or there's yes. victim blaming. Yes, victim blaming must stop. As somebody who has experienced domestic violence and sexual assault, you cannot blame the victim. It's important to speak out, and it goes undetected a lot because people do not report it, which is something important that everyone needs to do, mm -hmm. um, especially in Kentucky and in Indiana. Mm -hmm. The reporting statistic is lower, and it's higher statistically to experience in Kentucky and Indiana than the national average, mm -hmm. which this is very important just to speak out about and know that you do have a voice. Now, Elizabeth, the center does so much mm -hmm. uh, to help survivors day in, day out, to, to support them and then, right. and then help them make those steps back out into Absolutely. society and to, to, to live on their own. Absolutely, yes. We, we provide services 24-7, 365 days a year, and that's really important for anybody to know who is, who is a survivor of domestic, of course, and sexual assault. One of the things that we provide is that, that intervention. Um, so we are at hospitals. Anytime someone goes for a sexual assault nursing mm -hmm. examination called a SANE exam, mm -hmm. we also have a clinic at the center as well. But we are there to walk the journey with them. We are there to hold their hands, to be whatever advocate that they need to be able to start mitigating the impact of the trauma, but also the physical implications yeah. that they have had. Um, we have therapists, we do groups, we do a number of variety of services, and it doesn't have to just happen. We also provide those services for those who have suffered sexual assault earlier in an age, mm -hmm. you know, maybe during childhood. And again, as, as uh, the Royal Court said, we serve anybody and everybody. Our name is a little bit of a misnomer. Mm -hmm. uh, we serve men, women, transgender, non-binary. If they are a survivor, if they're a victim, please reach out to the center. Um, and I also want to take a minute and thank the Royal Court and also thank Mainstream Boutique and Crestwood yes. for providing the denim. Oh, yes, denim yes. Day is, yeah. again, it's an international day to recognize it doesn't matter what anyone is wearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and please come to the Breakfast of Brilliance. It is an annual event that we have in Southern Indiana. It is on May 25th from 8 to 9.30. You can get tickets online, they're $25. And there's another way that you can support the center so many ways and, and if people can't make the breakfast um, how else can they support you all I mean they donations etc yes like that. absolutely monetary donations are always appreciated because one of the things everything we do is 100% free oh, wow. we don't yeah. charge for anything um, so we absolutely need donations volunteers people mm -hmm. can volunteer in any way if you're interested in being a sexual assault advocate please come to the center we'll be happy to talk to you but there's other things that you can yeah. do um, we take donations it, lots yes. of different donations. You can go on the website, and what we need is on there. I think what is so nice, too, one of the big things we can do is talk about it. Talk right. about yes. it. And like, it makes it, it's a tough topic. It makes it comfortable because then you know people can trust you and talk about it and get yes. you the help you need. So thank you so much. I know we're missing Mashad. Yes. Yeah, she couldn't be here today, but we have our royal court here. Elizabeth, thank you for all the work Absolutely. that you're doing. You. Uh, to find out more information, just head on over to thecenteronline.org.